this question where is my mom dad whoever replaced you know with the person you lost uh, the question has uh, there are two layers to it uh, one is a very um, specific question of she was here her body is no longer here where is she mm-hmm. so that's that's one kind of a question uh, the other thing is uh, you know now that she's not there what about me mm-hmm. that, that's that's kind of a implied question in that right so i think for those of us who are trying to understand what happens to a person after they die uh, and therefore also ask the question of where do we come from before we are born here that takes you on to a quest right it could be a religious quest a spiritual quest or a metaphysical quest depending on what vocabulary suits you best um so th- so that that's a good thing it takes you into uh, realms of existence realms of reality that you're not uh, really normally ordinarily thinking so which is fine uh, so things like near death experiences and uh, afterlife and reincarnations and uh, soul work and soul growth and all those kind of things um but the other thing at a uh, pragmatic psychological level is equally probably more significant about which is about so where is my mom and now what about me right um so i think the way we relate to a person and their presence in our life uh what that means to you is never clearly defined and that in a way forces you to actually define it it's only when you come to really clearly defining what that was can you then let it go can you then let it go until you don't uh, have the presence or the courage to really call all that thing out clearly to yourself articulate it to yourself i think it's pretty difficult to let go so for example this whole idea of oh one has to let go one must hold things like let go let go in order to let go i have to first have it in my hand and then i can let go right so same with uh, selflessness you got to have a self to then say i am now surrendering the self got to have an ego to say i'm giving up my ego right so i think defining what was available because of the presence of that person in your life is a critical process to recovering from their loss yeah so let me clarify this are you saying this is an opportunity for the person who died or the person who is alive for the person because a lot of spiritual work is around that that the work living your life in a way that you are conscious and awake at the moment of transition of dying so therefore that's also an opportunity in in the sense of uh what is the quality of consciousness you build your last will which then determines supposedly this is something i've heard i don't can't vouch for it <laughs> you know uh, which then allows you to determine the kind of quality of life existence whatever it is later right uh for the person who's alive well yes so i don't think that there's anything very esoteric or spiritual about it this is very real very practical and very psychological as if that is any little more real than the spiritual right um it, like i said it it makes you it breaks you down so therefore there is an opportunity to reorganize in a way that is more conscious more aware more healthful um more productive all of that oh yes absolutely absolutely but i think you will miss the opportunity if you don't even look at what happened so so it's almost like you need to wade through the whole mark before you get the diamond the diamond is always at the end of the tunnel it's not right away right there right yeah.